Hi guys, welcome to our Thursday night rock and pour collaboration. I'm going to try to recreate the same color palette as I did last week, but on ceramic tiles. This week they're four and a half inches, so please uh, stay tuned with me and let's get down and see if we can't get this worked out. Thanks. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Bliss and you're catching us on our Thursday Rock and Pour collaboration. We're glad to have you here. You were here last week. I failed on some wooden coasters that I didn't know were pine. I kind of thought they were. I wasn't sure, but they were. I found these 1970s cool retro tiles in my garage because that's when my house was built and I'm going to redo the colors because the colors were absolutely amazing. We are going to get started. I have my PBG Multi Pro in the white and pastel base in eggshell. Just got it in a little cup. I'm just going to make a little puddle. Never done these before. Well, I did the ones on the rounds, but I've never done tiles. So, it's my first attempt. They're probably going to go sliding everywhere. Excuse the tarp, I haven't changed my, my table yet. So I've got the same colors. I've got Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics. These paints have been sitting for about a week and I have not added anything to them, so hopefully they still work the same. I've got the Hammerhead, uh, TLP Hammerhead. I've got Zeus uh, by TLP. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. We have the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Now I'm not putting the white paint in here this time. Kind of did not like that, so. Because we already have the white pillow. And we have the Arteza Pearl Lilac. I'm gonna put a little more of the magenta on top. Hopefully I have enough of this for all four. Hope you guys are doing well today. I painted one of my walls, the one that I'm looking directly at, and I absolutely love it. That's like a turquoise color. That's really beautiful. Well, when I get everything set up, I will bring you guys in for a tour. It'll be fun. All right, I have a skewer, I have a couple of bubbles. I need to pop here. And I'm using the Payne's Gray Cell Activator. Use too much cell activator, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I blew enough out, maybe. A little butterfly right there. It's really pretty. Okay. It's okay, move these. Okay, move them. The center doesn't move. Alright. We appreciate you guys following our collaboration on Thursdays. I'm sure Louise had something amazing to show you, as well as Lori. And this week, we have a special guest, Manon Petit Art. I think that's how you pronounce it. Manon, if I get that wrong, I'm so sorry. But she will be on after me at 7.15. She does amazing work. And she tackles large canvases, which I absolutely love to do as well. Let's see if we can't get this spun out without this falling off. Thank you. 
quite pretty. This is very stressful for me because I've never worked with tiles before, so I'm trying to concentrate. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm going to spin it one more time. A couple more times, maybe. Okay, that's going to have to work. Ready? Number one. Go again. We'll speed this up. Smaller, smaller amount of the uh, cell activator here. Okay. That was better. I think I was using too much cell activator. Okay. We're gonna spin her out. I watch Louise all the time, but until you do it, uh, I realize how much patience it takes. No, wait, maybe not. Okay. Louise, I can't do that on there. All right, guys. I got to put it down. I can't put it on something spinning. Uh, I didn't bring any paper towel over with me. All right. Sorry. Let's do this again. Let me only do three. <laughs> or two for this, uh, for the video, and then I'll get the rest later. on my color here. Yeah, I'm not a Louise McKay, that's for sure. I ain't going nowhere now. Nowhere. Pretty. Yeah, we saved it. I think I'm good. All right, let me get a.
There you go. Number two. Took me long enough. That's pretty. And then these other ones are just gonna be really sped up, guys. Sorry. Actually, I'm not gonna make you watch it. Um, I will come back and show you the results here in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, here is the wet results. Um, this is number one. And then number two, the one I had to redo because it spun off. Oh, Zeus and the hammerhead just glistens. And then off camera, I did number three. It's kind of wispy, wisp, wispy. I'll get it right in a minute. Wispy up there. I don't like it. And then this is number four off camera. I had something in my paint in the middle, so I have little squiggly lines in the middle, but pretty. Oh, yummy. Okay, guys, there they are. Let me know how I did in the comments. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. I'm going to get you down for a dry result in just a second. And uh, please stay tuned to Mano Petit from Canada. She will be with us at 7.15. We appreciate you all watching and tuning in. Until next time, here are the dry results. So let's hop on over to Mano's channel now. Thanks for watching. Bye.